Hey everybody, it's Paul here from Waypoint and we just got done with the uh, Tuesday morning general sessions and uh, just wanted to go over some of the things that were covered so we can keep you guys updated. So Anthony Dayton, the Click CTO, he covered uh, some updates and I uh, just wanted to share them with you. So uh, we're going to be moving to five releases a year for, for Click Sense. And what that means is that uh, they're also going to be changing the naming convention. So no longer is it going to be 4.0, 4.1. It's going to be moving to a, a month and a year basis for those updates. Another really cool uh, demo that we saw that had to do with the Internet of Things, which is a, a big topic that Click is going to be tackling this year, was uh, with Mike ProRock of uh, Missouri. And what we saw was Click dashboards that were getting fed real-time data from devices that were planted on a farm. Um, and we saw uh, Anthony Dayton actually water some uh, plants on stage uh, that interacted with the internet and then in real time updated that uh, Majorio uh, dashboard. And it's just a, a really awesome uh, combination of uh, technology and, and data biz in real time. So I know a lot of you have been waiting to hear this, uh, and it's the top five things that Click is really proud of uh, moving into this next year. A lot of new updates for ClickSense. Number one, uh, and this is probably the coolest thing that I saw, was that now you can actually drag and drop a Click View app into ClickSense. So you just literally drag your Click View app into ClickSense, and it rebuilds it uh, in ClickSense which is kind of mind-blowing when you think about it with all of the time and effort that you would have to go through to actually do that. Uh, number two, so visual data prep for developers. So uh, no longer do you have to uh, know a lot of scripts. You can essentially drag and drop uh, within ClickSense to parse all of your data now, uh, visually. So you don't have to sit there and script things up. So this is gonna be a big game changer for people that don't like the script. And the way that they do this now is they have these things called click bubbles and you can actually drag and drop and, and parse your data and concatenize it uh, within that visual interface, which is uh, pretty amazing. So number three, uh, new color charts and uh, intelligence. So what that means is now within ClickSense, uh, you can govern colors for your charts throughout the entire app. So that way, uh, Everything is relatable, streamlined, and when you make that color change for one chart, you can push it through that field all the way out through the entire app without having to go into each dashboard and manually change that, which is a, a, a huge time saver now. Number four is a Geo Analytics. So the new Click Geo Analytics uh, function is really awesome. It basically allows you to uh, have a new intelligent geospatial rendering of your data. So no longer is it just your little dots and circles that get wider and smaller. Uh, it's a very intelligent and intuitive way to actually visualize your maps. Uh, for example, um, one of the examples was uh, drive times or, or just driving on the map. You know, uh, it, it's not that easy to represent with those little symbols. Now you have a, a much more intuitive interface to be able to uh, visualize that data. Another big update is advanced analytics integration. And what that means is uh, now there are, uh, so what that means is now that Click has essentially opened up APIs to allow you to communicate with other engines, so R, Python, uh, or Spark uh, in real time. So this is gonna be huge for all of the add-ons and extensions, uh, opening up new possibilities for developers. So, uh, Vinay came out towards the end of the uh, new technology advancements for ClickSense and dropped on us that now ClickSense, the mobile app, is available offline. So you can take all of your data, uh, store it on your iOS app, which is now powered by the same engine that powers the enterprise server um, with you on the go. So it doesn't matter whether you're connected to Wi-Fi or not, you have your data, you can work on it, put it in airplane, um, in airplane mode, go back off airplane mode, connect back to your server, get all the refresh, and uh, nothing is changed. So that's a really great new um, advancement for 
quick sense. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel and be sure to follow us on Twitter at Waypoint BI.